boy did that get ugly quick what is going on y'all five sports talk back at it with another video talking of course some nba here to talk about the nba finals and talking about game one of the nba finals which uh was absolutely dominated by the la lakers who won 116 to 98 over the miami heat so here to break down game one of the nba finals i'll be breaking down every single game of the NBA Finals, so make sure you guys, if you are not already subscribed to the channel, that you do subscribe and that you do turn on the post notifications and that you do follow me on my social media links down below and on the screen for that. I'll, I also live tweet during the finals, so that's why you should probably follow me on there. But if, essentially, I got a lot to say. I, I got a lot to say, folks. So uh, let's talk about this uh, because this, this got ugly quick, like I mentioned. So I did pick the Lakers in five games, but man, after tonight, it's very difficult for me to see how the Heat even win one game in this series. Uh, so you might want to bring out the brooms, folks, because this could be a sweep. And it's funny that I'm saying that because I'm actually the last guy that like, likes to overreact to one game, you know, that likes to be prisoner of the moment. No, I don't like to do that, but there are exceptions to everything in life, and this is one of those exceptions because here's the thing. Not only did the Lakers dominate in Game 1, but the Heat also lost some significant players, all right? I hate injuries. I wish they never existed, but they're a part of life. And here we are with the Miami Heat, who lost Goran Dragic in the second half. Uh, he never returned with a foot injury. I don't even know how he got the foot injury. Again, I never saw it. Uh, I did see afterwards they showed the play where he apparently injured his foot. I don't even remember seeing that. But uh, yeah, he never returned. And that's a big, big blow to the Miami Heat because he's their leading scorer through the playoffs. Dragic is their starting point guard. So obviously that's a big blow. But not only the fact that he was out this game, but he could potentially be out the entire series. We don't know how bad the injury is, but from everything I'm reading online, it's not good. All right, I'm hearing plantar fasciitis. I'm hearing some very bad things about the foot injury for Dragic. And so that really, really concerns me and should concern Heat fans because, again, that's a big loss. Then we had Bam Adebayo get hurt. He never returned. He had a shoulder injury. And he also, uh, you know, obviously looked very banged up. And so, again, with Bam, hoping here, cross my fingers, knock on wood, that he is able to play this series and return for game two. Um, I didn't hear anything bad like I heard about Dragic's injury about Bam. So hopefully Bam will be fine. Uh, then we had Jimmy Butler, who I had an ankle injury in the first half. He did end up staying in and playing the game, but he's not 100%. So, man, when it rains, it pours. And the Miami Heat just had all these injuries just balloon up at one time. And it just felt so bad to see. And the Lakers just routed them. All right? Just routed them. But, folks, I'm here to tell you this. All right? The Lakers are going to win this series. It's just a matter of how many games. And like I said, at this point, it looks like because of the injuries, it could be a sweep. But make no mistake about it. Even with the injuries not happening, the Lakers would have won this series. So I don't want to hear the excuses after the Lakers do win this series that Miami was banged up or Miami was injured. Yeah, they were injured and banged up and they potentially could have won one or maybe two games, but this was not going to change the series outcome. You saw in the game today, nobody on the Heat can guard Anthony Davis. Not a single person. He's too big. He is too good. All right. Nobody on the Heat is able to match up with the size of the Lakers. Bam Adebayo uh, is the biggest guy in the Heat, and it looked like he was mismatched. All right. We're talking about LeBron, AD, Dwight Howard, and they didn't even play Jamal in the year, or at least I don't remember him playing. Um, it's They're too big. And, and we just take a look at the numbers right here, right? Rebounding-wise, 54 rebounds for the Lakers to 36 for the Heat. It's too much. Like, Heat are, Heat are too small. It's a mismatch here. They need size. They don't have it, all right? So the Lakers dominated. We saw AD, 34 points, 9 rebounds, 5 assists, 3 blocks. I mean, he is... A top five player, we know this, all right? LeBron James, what more is there to say? 23 points, 13 rebounds, uh, nine, nine assists. 
Uh, and then here's the thing, AD and LeBron, we know that's what they do. So that didn't really surprise me. But what did surprise me is the contributions from the bench. Contavious Caldwell Pub, KCP with 13 points. Danny Green with 11 points. Alex Caruso with 10 points. When you get these contributions from the bench that you don't really expect as much, that just makes the Lakers a completely different team. Now you go from to beating a team to blowing them out. Like literally like blowing the doors off the team. So to me, uh, again, at this point, um, you know, we all should expect the Lakers to win this series. Uh, but now it's just a matter of, you know, how many games and, and it looks like it's going to be sweet fold. I mean, for the for the Heat, uh, Jimmy Butler was the only guy who, you know, had any significance of a game here. 23 points for him. And now it looks like Tyler Hero is really going to have to step up with no Goran Dragic. Again, we don't know the status of Bam Adebayo, but hopefully he's okay. But yeah, folks, uh, this series is uh, is over and I don't usually like doing that after one game. I don't like to overreact. You guys know this. If you guys have followed me for all, you guys know this. I am not the hot take reactionary guy. But I'm telling you, this series is over. It'll probably be a sweep uh, at best. If the Heat somehow managed to get a game, we'll see. But it's going to be a sweep. And, and, and here's the other thing, folks. I saw a lot of media members, a lot of them pick the Heat. And... I, I, I just, I don't get it. I don't get it. Like, it made no sense to me. Like, where where do you see the advantages here? Like, I don't, I don't understand. Maybe they just hate LeBron James. Um, I think that's it. I think a lot of people just don't like LeBron James for some odd reason. A lot of these media members don't. I saw, you know, uh, Chris Sheridan, uh, Nick Friedel, um, you know, a lot of these guys pick Rob Parker, pick against uh, the Lakers and... I never quite understood it. So again, folks, like I said, uh, I'll be here throughout the NBA Finals giving a recap. But uh, yeah, game one showed you this isn't really going to be close. It should be uh, over quick, fast, and in a hurry. So let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below if you'd really disagree. As always, thanks for watching.